What is up? I learned to make Heather dance. Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. Real quick, before we enter the apartment, room 102, if you come over here and you examine these mailboxes with a Silent Hill 2 save file on your memory card, Heather comments, I think about Maria from Silent Hill 2, or she's, I think there might be a letter from her, I can't exactly remember. Anyway, we have a big cutscene coming up with a big reveal in it. Also, if you haven't noticed, I've got the widescreen working. So let's enjoy this cutscene in glorious widescreen. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! another reason to fill your heart with hatred it must be this way one day you'll understand why no I'll never understand you must try to remember me and your true self as well you will birth a god and build an eternal paradise the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. Heather's dad is Harry Mason from Silent Hill 1, and Harry is dead! Man! That is the biggest reveal in the whole game. That whole cutscene covered who Heather's dad is, who Heather is, and what her mysterious origin is, Claudia and her connection to all of this, and the cult, what they want Heather for, who, uh, who Heather is. She's the reincarnation of Alessa. Also, this chump is the missionary. He is responsible for killing our hero from Silent Hill 1, Harry. I'll talk more about the twist at a later point, because this boss is kind of a pushover, and he's not going to last long enough for me to really go in depth like I want to. Oh, god damn, that gets me every time. So you can stop this guy when he's down. Sometimes he'll get up, though, and really quickly, like he'll quick rise enough to counter you. For the most part, though, not that bad. Uh, you can't really shoot him from the front, and it's hard to melee him. So you have to wait until he runs around, and you can get to his side or his back. 
That's about it, though. He likes to run around the arena a lot, so just try to keep the camera focused on him. Should be over any time now. out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. It's just now hitting me how much Douglas Cartland looks and reminds me of Shelby from Heavy Rain, and that's such a shame. I don't want to draw any more comparisons between Heavy Rain and this game. Anyway, Harry, Heather's dad, is dead at the hands of the cult, and Claudia specifically, who wanted to take revenge on Harry for taking Alessa reincarnated as Heather away from the cult and away from the town of Silent Hill and as a result of her murdering Harry Heather has resolved to make her way to the town of Silent Hill and Douglas who has been getting nothing but shit from her the whole time is being like the most understanding guy in the world and he's gonna give her a lift also this is Heather's room as it has its own bathroom Kind of odd. You get a stun gun in here. It uses uh, batteries that have a limited number of uses, and there are very few batteries throughout the whole game. The stun gun also isn't that good. So we're not going to be using it 
all that much. I will use it to show it off. But as soon... Actually, no, it's not as soon as you exit. Heather's turning her head. Is it just to make that comment? Liar, liar. Shit. I tapped the button too quick and I skipped over a little bit of text and now I can't get it back. She just keeps saying liar. I can't remember what she says here either. Before I leave the apartment, though, I don't think there's anything else too interesting in here. Nope. Alright, then we will make our way outside, where Douglas is waiting for us. So we're going to have another very, very long cutscene, where a lot of exposition is going to happen, so strap in. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard, and he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car's sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see... That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. Father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. 
I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? No, I can't. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. Head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. Fifty-something years old. I had never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. So Heather now finds herself in this seedy-looking motel, accompanied by Douglas Cartland as they've made their way into Silent Hill proper. And looking around the motel, there's not really much in it, but we did get two new items. First, we got a notebook from Harry, so let's check that out. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away. Far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine. Of ours. 
Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony. To bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's, and probably Alessa's, conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby... Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought, she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she... When you look at me, you laugh so... Even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. That chokes me up a little bit. Harry's last memento for Heather is him talking about being a horrible person for wanting to abandon her because he isn't sure how much of the town is dug into her like a corruption. That's really upsetting. Also, it kind of makes me wonder, all those times you save in Silent Hill 1, Harry's save point is a notepad. I wonder... How much of that memento, that diary he left for Heather, comes from just him jotting things down in the notepad as he goes along in his nightmarish journey through Silent Hill in the first game. Anyway, the other item we received was the map of Silent Hill, which we are now in. We finally made our way to the town of Silent Hill. And we are headed to Brookhaven Hospital, the hospital from Silent Hill 2. By the way, if you go too far out of the way, Heather will just turn around saying, ah, I shouldn't be going that direction. We're going to Brookhaven Hospital to look for Leonard, a name dropped on Douglas by creepy asshole Vincent. Now, like I was saying before, Heather is Harry's daughter, Harry is dead, and Heather is the baby from the end of Silent Hill 1, which took place 17 years ago. She is the reincarnation of Alessa. Vincent spelled it clearly out in that one cutscene, but here it is, plain as day. Also, a nice little detail for why so much of the game doesn't take place in Silent Hill. Remember, Harry wasn't originally from Silent Hill. He brought Cheryl there from somewhere else. That's really, really cool. So they did a lot of recapping in the car and in that journal, but here is the full deal. Silent Hill 3 is a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1. Heather Mason is the daughter of the protagonist from the first game. And if you didn't watch my playthrough of Silent Hill 1, or if you didn't play it yourself, this might not seem like it matters so much. So here's the full recap, all the backstory included. The town of Silent Hill has this cult, which was mistranslated in later games as The Order, and they are trying to summon their god. Dahlia Gillespie, the villain from the first game, had a daughter, Alessa, who they tried to use as their vessel to birth their god. 
Alessa was born with supernatural powers, and she was friends with Claudia Wolf when she was young because they were both singled out as kids. By the way, this is the bar from Silent Hill 2. Anyway, Dahlia tries to use Aless Alessa to birth their god, and she, per she performs some kind of ritual involving fire, but Alessa, seven years old at the time, is horribly, horribly burned by the fire. And she was kept at Alchemila Hospital, where she was hidden away. But she was pregnant with their god. And there is also this subplot in Silent Hill 1 about the director of the hospital, Michael Kaufman, peddling drugs to the townspeople. But that's not really relevant right now. Uh, watch my Silent Hill 1 playthrough for all of that. So anyway, before Leslie can give birth to the cult's god, she splits her soul in half to prevent it. So she remained basically tortured in Silent Hill while the other half of her soul incarnates in a baby named Cheryl that Harry finds prior to the beginning of the game. Seven years later, something compels Cheryl to go to Silent Hill. And Harry brings her there. Remember, Silent Hill used to be a resort town. So Cheryl gets lured back by Dahlia basically trying to reunite Alessa and Cheryl's two fragmented souls so their god can finally be born. That finally happens at the end of Silent Hill 1, but in the canon ending, Kaufman comes in at the last minute and throws this red liquid, Aglopidus, onto Alessa and causes her to birth god prematurely, and that's what allows you to beat the final boss of Silent Hill 1, which is their god. And when that's all said and done, Alessa is dying and she hands Harry a baby who winds up being Alessa's reincarnation. That baby is given to Harry, that's, that's given to him, is Heather. By the way, if you're wondering why I wasn't reading that pamphlet out loud, that pamphlet is the same pamphlet from Silent Hill 2. A lot of details are the same as in Silent Hill 2, actually, like Brookhaven here. But we'll get into that more next episode, because we have been running long. And here is the map of Brookhaven, laid out pretty much the same. We're going to be exploring a few different features of the hospital, though, so it's not going to be just a carbon copy, cut and paste job. Anyway, we'll get more into that next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.